the assignment was to bring in a childhood photograph and to share with us your most memorable experience at that age. Who'd like to begin? Aisha? <laughs> this is me after my first dance recital. This is so special because my grandmother, who was sick, was able to come and I made her real proud. <laughs> you look so cute. Kimberly, would you like to be next? Oh, sure. Okay, this is me in my first gymnastics competition. Um, I was kind of bummed though because I lost, but you know what? It taught me to be a good sport and that has helped me a lot. Very nice, Kimberly. Ah, the dawn of another glorious day, whose sunset shall witness the final destruction of those power brats. The Pink Ranger as a child. That's it! Why didn't you fools think of this before? Uh, sorry, I guess we weren't thinking. Uh, what were we talking about anyway? The Rangers met sword on as teenagers. If we turn back time and return them to childhood, they will be powerless. An excellent idea, my lord, but how will we accomplish it? You fool! With the Rock of Time, by calling forth its power, we will cause the Earth to begin spinning backward and time along with it. Those worthless power teens will become ordinary children. <laughs> we will stop them before they can grow up to be Power Rangers. <laughs> yes, exactly. <sighs> you may sit down, Kimberly. Tommy? Okay. Um, you're next. <sighs> you look so proud in that picture. Um, this shot's really important to me. Uh, this is when I first learned about dedication and hard work. Aw, oh, how cute. <laughs> I learned about determination here. It took me four hours to get my mom's vacuum cleaner back together. <laughs> but she wasn't too happy. This is my dog, Buster. I learned about responsibility here. Uh. <laughs> I like this picture because it shows my dad and me doing stuff together. He loves to work on cars. And that's when I discovered that Bulk and I were meant to be lifelong pals. No. No. That's when you stuck a great popsicle down my back and I decided not to clobber you. <laughs> exactly my point. <laughs> When you activate the Rock of Time, they won't be talking about their childhood. They'll be reliving it. <laughs> well, there's no time like the present. Or should I say, the past. Ah! My lord, simply stunning. You are the best. Yes. Now, all we have to do is wait for the Earth to spin back in time, reducing the power rages to puny, powerless children. At last, the final victory will be ours. Watch. Any moment, the rock's power shall take effect. Ah, yes. Say goodbye, Power Rangers. Your lives are about to change forever. Now. Spin! Spin back to your powerless past! This is a picture of me with my horse, Blue. I started riding when I was six years old, and I almost quit when I was seven because I fell off. But my dad always taught me to face my fears and conquer them, so I just kept getting on that horse until the fear went away. You don't know the meaning of fear, little lady. But soon she will! Imagine an old law, no more power rangers. Once again, you'll be master of the universe. It almost seems too easy. In a moment, they will be gone, and I've barely lifted a finger. You know, he's right. It does seem too easy. Ah, uh, you dare to doubt me? You two will live to eat those words. Excellent job, everyone. <laughs> It was so interesting to hear you tell about the events that have helped to make you who you are today. Yes, Billy? Uh, Miss Appleby? That clock seems to be acting rather oddly. 
Oh my goodness, that is rather odd, isn't it? What should we do? Do, dear lady, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> Maybe she's just impatient, Lord said. You can always speed things up a little. Yes, yes, that can be arranged. There is an irregularity in the Earth's rotation. I suspect Lord Zed is behind this. I don't know what he's trying to do. Check on the Rangers, Alpha. Right away, Zordon. Altering the Earth's rotation will undoubtedly cause a catastrophic break in the space-time continuum, with unpredictable results. They seem okay for now. We haven't got much time, Alpha. We must determine exactly what Lord Zed is up to. I'll program the computer to monitor the rangers while I try to return the Earth to its correct rotational direction. Hey. All right, class, who can divide 30 into 900? Kimberly, would you like to come up and show the class? Yes, Miss Appleby. It goes into 90 three times. Three times 30 is 90. 90 subtracted from 90 is zero. Bring down the zero. 30 goes into zero zero times. So the answer is 30. Very good, Kimberly. I can tell you've been studying very hard. Teacher's pen. Grow up, school. Tell me, who is responsible for this? Aisha? Buck and Skull put a slime balloon under Kimberly's chair. Yeah, but it backfired. I think I heard <gasps> enough. You two can spend the rest of the day in Mr. Kaplan's office. No fair. Yeah, it was Kimberly's fault. Now, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Class dismissed. Yes. But remember to study for your spelling test tomorrow. Are you all right? Yeah. My new outfit. It's ruined. Don't worry. I never leave home without one. Thanks. Come on, guys. Let's go to the park. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. yeah. Zordon! Lord said has transformed our rangers into children. They won't even know they are the Power Rangers. I'm afraid you're correct, Alpha. They are too young to remember. Lord Zed has used the Rock of Time to send the Earth spinning into the past. Oh no, what can we do? You must construct a remote molecular scrambler to restore the Power Rangers to normal. Only then will they have the knowledge and power to destroy the Rock of Time. Can't we just teleport them here? No, Alpha. They are children now, and it would be much too frightening for them. Frightening for them? Ay, 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 ay! I'm absolutely terrified! Oh! Hey, Kim, check out this one. Cool! You really think this is gonna fly? It could. My dad helped me draw up the plans at home. I'd like to try and test the wind currents, then monitor them. Okay, so, you're gonna hold it, and I'm gonna run with it, right? I say, let go, let go. Ready? Here we go. Let's go! Oh, honey, get a shot of those kids. Oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> yeah. Those two really gross me out. Tell me about it. Thank <laughs> you. 
They're lost or something. You know, my mother told me never to talk to strangers. They look pretty strange to me. people to be Power Rangers because of their intelligence and resourcefulness. But you must hurry and get the Descrambler working. 
Lord Zed is bound to be furious and send in one of his monsters. I'll do my best, Zordon. This is impossible! No! I don't believe it! I knew it all sounded too easy! Those ranger kids defeated my buddies even without Zordon's help. They won't get away with this! Yes, my lord. Send a monster to finish them. Yes! I need a monster that can freeze them in time forever! Ah! A camera! With it, I will create the photo mare and trap those rangers in a photograph forever! Sheesh! <laughs> Victory will be ours in a flash! <laughs> I'm zooming in on the Power Rangers now! Hey guys, we know you're there. If you're scared, why don't you just say so? Who are you calling a scaredy cat? Yeah, we're protecting you! Right. Smile for the camera! Camera? Where? Interesting. Huh? Hold still, everyone! I don't think this is like having art class picture done. Now, say cheese! Wait a minute. Big smile for the picture you'll remember for a lifetime! <laughs> or should I say a lifetime remembered as a picture? <laughs> Photography. If I can just get this wire connected over here, like so. The situation has become critical. The young rangers have been captured inside a photograph by Lord Zed's evil photomare monster. Without the descrambler, they will be lost forever. Excellent! <laughs> the Rangers are now trapped in that photograph for all time! Perfect! <laughs> it really worked! <laughs> Never will we hamper my evil deeds again! Victory is mine at last! And how sweet it is!